In the previous video, we discussed the important properties of modifiers, what must uh, the modifier have and now we will discuss a few examples of modifiers and that will better help us understand the concept of modifier. Now let's look at the first sentence here. The first sentence says I love plays. Now plays basically uh, the kind of you know uh, the plays by Shakespeare right that kind of plays don't take it as the verb form. I love plays right. So in this in this simple sentence the I is the subject of the sentence the love is the verb and place is acting like a noun. So in effect, I can say that this is a very, very simple sentence. We have the subject I, we have the verb love and we have the object of the verb place and there is no modifier apparently in this sentence. Let's go and let's go and add a few modifiers. Let's make it a little spicy and then it becomes I love tragic place, right? So everything has remained the same. I have added one element here and the word is tragic, which is an adjective, right? Right? This adjective is modifying the noun place, right? So we can say that tragic is nothing but a modifier. So in effect, again I repeat, adjectives are adjectives are modifiers. They are nothing but modifiers, and the the modified in those cases are the nouns. The way place here is the noun, and the tragic and the adjective tragic is the modifier for the noun place. Let's go to a little more complex sentence. I, which is the subject again, love tragic place tragic is the adjective I insanely love tragic place so here the the adverb insanely is modifying uh, the the verb love right I insanely love tragic place and so again I repeat adjectives are modifiers adverbs too are modifiers Right. So, is it are modifiers always so simple? We, as I discussed earlier, I told I, I told in my previous session that modifiers can be words. When they are words, they are they are adjectives and adverbs. But they can be phrases as well, right? They can be phrases as well. Let's take this example here, right? Plays written by Shakespeare are my favorite, right? So, as we see here, plays uh, plays was the noun and tragic was the uh, the the adjective modifying the noun plays again here is the noun but where is the modifier the modifier here is in italics plays written by Shakespeare are my favorite so the job that tragic did in this sentence the same job is being done by the participle phrase written by Shakespeare modifying plays so so what do we get to see here we get to see that a participle phrase usually modifies some kind of noun. So here we have the, 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 the noun place and we have the participle written by Shakespeare modifying the noun place. So plays are my favorite. What kind of plays? The ones written by Shakespeare. Plays written by Shakespeare. So written by Shakespeare is a modifier. Plays is the modifier. Just the way plays here was the modifier and tragic was a modifier. So tragic was an, a, an adjective. Written by Shakespeare is a, is, a, is a participle phrase. The modifier is written by Shakespeare. The modifier modifies the noun. Plays. Very simple. Let's go to uh, the next. Uh, written by Shakespeare, Othello is one of the greatest tragedies in English literature. There are so many modifiers here, you know. It is the word greatest is modifying the noun tragedies. The word literature is, is getting modified by the adjective English. And Othello is also having a modifier. What is the modifier? Written by Shakespeare. So, guys, what we are trying to understand is that modifiers can be a little complex. They are not as simple as adjectives and adverbs are. They are not as simple to understand as the adjectives and adverbs are right so written by Shakespeare Othello so so Othello is getting modified by the phrase written by Shakespeare written by Shakespeare Othello is one of the greatest tragedies in English literature written by Shakespeare is the modifier Othello is the modified let's take one more complex sentence so we have been taking very good examples here we have accompanied by 20 clansmen John the eldest son of the chief came to meet the strangers and asked what the visit meant so the subject of the sentence is John 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 came to meet the strangers and asked something, right? And and John was accompanied by 20 clansmen, right? So we have the modifier M1, which is again a participle phrase, and we have John. And the next modifier for John is the eldest son of the chief. Now, who is John? The eldest son of the chief. So here we have a positive. 
Uh, please don't confuse with the phrases. There is a separate video on phrases and you can go on to that video and learn about the different kind of phrases and how phrases modify things. So here the noun John has two modifiers. The first modifier is accompanied by 20 clansmen and the second modifier is the eldest son of the chief. In fact, you can remove the modifiers, you know. Uh, you can just remove the modifiers and the sentence makes complete sense. What is it? John came to meet the strangers and asked what the visit meant. And who was John? John. And, and, and John, who is John? John is the eldest son of the chief. So it's a modifier M2. And also it has the modifier accompanied by 20 clansmen. So we have M1 and M2. And these two are the modifiers modifying the noun John. So what do we learn here? We get to know that Modifiers can be as simple as adjectives and adverbs, and they can be as simple as as complicated. I, I shouldn't use the word complicated, but I will just use it to to make you understand the complexity of modifiers. It can be an appositive phrase, it can be a participle phrase. We have seen participle phrases here. So modifiers can be of many kinds, and we have seen in this in this in these examples the different kinds of modifiers.